All right, non-resident training course, September 1998, Navy Electricity Electronics Training Series, Module Introduction to Electrical Conductors, Wiring Techniques, Schematic Reading, Navy Trial 14176, Distribution Statement Approved for Public Release, Distribution Unlimited. All right, Table of Contents, Chapter 1, Electrical Conductors, Chapter 2, Wiring Techniques, Chapter 3, Schematic Reading. All right, throughout this text, throughout this text of the course, while you have the technical manuals associated with equipment we'll be working with, you'll find the, below the notations end of some of the paragraphs. The notation used to emphasize safety hazards that exist and care must be taken to observe. Warning, an operating procedure or condition or etc. which may result in injury, death, or is not carefully observed or followed. Caution, all, all operating procedure, practice, condition, etc. which may be result in damage to equipment or if not carefully observed or followed. And no, any operation, procedure, practice, or condition which is essential to emphasize. All right, chapter one, electrical conductors. Chapter um, learning objectives. Learning objectives are stated at the beginning of the each chapter. Learning objectives to serve as a premium review with information you're expected to learn in chapter. The comprehensive questions are based on the objectives, based, um, but successfully. The OCC and the EECC are indicated to have met the objective of the learning of the information learning objectives listed below. Upon the completion of the chapter, you will be able to recall the definition of unit size, mill, foot, square, mill, circular, mill, mathematical equations, calculations for each. Um, define specific resistance. Recall three factors which calculate in, 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 into ohms. Um, describe power of the American wire gauge and purpose of the pro proper use of the American wire gauge when making wire measurements. Recall factors required in selecting proper size wire. State advantage, disadvantage of copper and aluminum as conductors. Six, define insulation resistance, um, dielectrical strength, including the dielectrical strength of an insulator is determined and find the safety precautions to be taken when working with insulating materials. Recall the most common insulators used with an extremely high voltage state, the type of the conductor normally used for shipboard wiring, and ten, recall the design and use of a coaxial cable. Add electrical conductors. In the previous module of the training series, you have learned the various circuit components. The components provide majority of the operating characteristics of electrical cir electrical circuits. They are often use they are useless. However, they are not to connected together. Conductors are means used to tie these components together. Many factors determine the type of electrical conductors used to com connect components. Some of these factors are physical sizes of the conductor and its composition, electrical characteristics. Other factors which determine the choice of the conductor of the weight and the cost environment where the um, conductors will be used. Conductor size. To compare resistance and size of one conductor with the other, you, um, we need to establish a standard unit of size. A convenient unit measurement of the diameter of the conductor is usually one thousandth or one thousandth of an inch. Convenient unit of the conductor length is one foot. The standard unit size in most cases is a mill foot, a wire which has the unit size of the diameter of one mill and length of uh, one foot. All right, square mill. A square mill is unit measured by the unit that determine the cross-sectional area of the square rectangular conductors. Um, figures use A, B, and Figure One. One square mill is a square mill is defined as the area of the square side of which is each each one mill to ob obtain the cross-sectional area of the square conductor. Multiply the dimension of any side by um, of the side of the square by itself. For example, you use the side um, square conductor with a side dimension of three mills. Multiply three times. Uh, three by itself, and it gives you the cross-sectional area of the nine square mill. Square rectangular round. Determine the cross-sectional area of the rectangular conductor. Multiply the length of the time, length of the length of the width of the end of the um, of the conductor, and express in mil. For the example, assume that one side of the rectangular cross-sectional area is six mils, the other side is three mils. Six mils times three mils, which is equal to eighteen square mils. To either, here's another example. Assume the conductor is three eighths of an inch thick, four inches wide. The three eighths of an inch can be expressed in decimal form as zero point three seven five, and um. Since uh, one mil is equal to one thousandth of an inch, if the thickness of the conductor is one thousandth of an inch, uh, inch times zero on um, three hundred seventy-five thousandths of an inch is three hundred seventy-five mils. You get the width of the four inches. They are one thousand mils per inch. The width of the four it would be one four times one thousand um, mils would be four thousand mils. Determine the cross-sectional area of the multiplied length width by three hundred seventy-five mils by four thousand mils. The area is one thousand one million five hundred square mils. 
All right, circular mill. The circular mill is a standard unit measure of the round wire cross-sectional area of UC with the figure 1-1. One, one. Um, the unit measurement and loading uh, has been found in the American Amer English wire table of the diamond with the round conductor wires used to conduct the electricity may be only a fraction of the inch. Therefore, it is convenient to express the diameter in mils to avoid decimals. For example, the diameter in the wire expresses 25 mils instead of 25 thousandths of an inch. The circular mill is the equal, and the circular mill is the area of the circle having a diameter of one mil, shown in view B, figure on um, view B, figure one two. The area of the circular mill of the round conductor is obtained by squaring, um, squaring the diameter measure of the mill for the wires having a diameter of 25 mils. It has an area of, of 25 squared or 625 um, circular mils. To determine the number of square mils in, in the second and same conductor, apply with the conventional formula to determine the area of the circle. Area is equal to the pi times the radius squared in this formula. Area is unknown and is equal to the cross-section area of the square mils. Is the, it is the constant 3.14, the radius of the circle, or the half the diameter. Thus, the substitution is 3.146, or 12 and, and 12.5. Um, Squared. Therefore, 3.1414 is 100 times 156.25 is 490.625 square mil. The cross-sectional area of the wire is 625 square mils by the unit 490. 625 square mils. Therefore, the circular re mill represents a smaller area, unit area with a square mill. All right, H of the square mill, one by one. The circular mill is one across the diameter. And the square circular mill, it would be one mil by, um, of the, the diameter square, the squared. And then you'd have to divide it to get the radius times the pi. Um, the wire of the cross-sectional diameter, one mil, the definition of circular and circular mill area, CMA, or area of the diameter square area equal area. Uh, uh, let's see if it, Area of the diamond squared area is equal to um, one squared, or area of one circular mill. Determine the square mill area of the same wire. Apply the formula with the area uh, a to the pi squared a and um, three point one four times half a mil squared um, represents half the diameter, or th zero, three point one point times the point twenty five or seven eight point five four square mils. From this, it concludes one circular mill is equal to seven eight. 7,854 7, square mils. This um, becomes important because we in the, when the square view, figure A, figure 1, 2, in round view B, conductor is compared to view C, figure 1, 2. When the square mils are given, they divide the, um, the area by 0 0.7854. To determine the circular mill area of the um, CMA, with the given them the multiply of the area by 0 0.8, um, multiply the area by 0 0.7854 to determine the square mill area, for example. All right, problem 12 gauge wire with a diameter of 80.81 uh, mils, where um, one is the area of the circular mills and two is the area of the square mills. Um, you have uh, six, uh, the area of uh, the 6,530 square cu circular mills and uh, 5,128 square mills problem rectangular co conductor one half inch wide and 20 and half quarter inch thick well what is the area of the square mills and circular mills what size round conductor is necessary to the same current as the rectangular bar one half inch times 1000 mils equals 150 mils 1500 mils at quarter inch equal quarter inch times 1000 mils per inch is 250 mils per inch an area of um, 1,500 mils times 250 mils is 300, 375,000 square mils. To carry out the same current with the cross-sectional area around the conductor must be equal. There are musk more circular more mils of the square mils than area. Therefore, the area is 375 square mils over 0 0.7854 or 4,777 circular mils. A wire in its, in its useful form is a single slender rod with a film and the drum now with the larger side of the wire difficult to handle to increase the flexibility of the strand. The strand is usually single wires but twisted together in sufficient number, numbers to make the necessary to cross sectional area for the cable. Full area of standard wire circular mills are determined by multiplying the area of the circular mills over the one, one strand by the number of strands in the cable. Okay, circular mill foot. A circular mill foot is the unit of volume. The unit of the, uh, is a unit conductor. One foot of length has the cross-sectional area of one circular mill. Because the unit conductor of the circular mill foot is usually making comparisons between wires consisting of different mills. For example, the basis of the comparison of the resistivity to be discussed shortly. 
Various substances may be made in determining resistance of circular mill foot for each substance. So you got 1,000 of an inch over the one foot. It would give you um, working square rectangular conductors such as ammonia shunts, bars, and bus bars may be sometimes found. It find it more convenient to use the different unit volume. The bus bars, heavier copper strap, or BRs used to connect several circuits together. Bus bars are used the large current capacity is required until the volume may be measured in the center, center, center meter cube specific resistance, therefore, because of the resistance offered by the cube shape is a conductor one centimeter in length of the one square centimeters cross sectional area of the unit volume is used to be given in the tables of specific resistance. For a specific resistance or resistivity, specific resistance or resistivity, the resistance of the ions offered by the unit volume in the circuit mill foot or the, or, or the centimeter cube, the substance of flow of electrical current, resistive, the reciprocal of the conductive, and the substance for the high resistivity will have the low conductivity, vice versa. Thus, specific resistance of the substance for the resistance of the unit volume of the, of the substance. Many tables strengthen um, specify the resistance based on the resistance of the arms volume of the substance, one foot length or one circular mill in a cross section area, and one circular mill in a cross section area. The temperature of the resistant measure made is also specified. If you know, if you know the kind of metal conductor it is made of, you can obtain the specific resistance of the metal from the table. The specific resistance, some common substances are given in Table One. All right, you got copper, silver, copper, gold, aluminum, carbon, tungsten, brass, steel, and the chromium. Um, the resistance of the conductor in there is specific resistance at 20 degrees Celsius center cube and circular mill foot. Resistance of the conductor uniform cross section varies um, directly with the product of the length of the specific resistance conductor. Conductor inversely the cross sectional area of the conductor. Therefore, the calculate the resistance of the conductor if you know the length of the cross sectional area. The specific resistance of the substance expressed in the equation R or resistance in ohms over the conductor is. Um, resistance in ohms is equal to the Greek ro um, symbol rho, which stands for the specific resistance in ohms per circular mill foot times the, um, times the length divided by the cross-sectional area in circular mills. Problem. When the resistance of 1,000 feet of copper wire have the cross-sectional area of 10,400 square mill with number 4, 10 wire at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, specific resistance for copper is 10.37 ohms, substituting the known ver um, Values in the preceding equation, the resistance the resistance R is determined by the um, specific resistance of ohms for a circular mill foot, which was the copper at 10.37 ohms. The length is a thousand foot, and the area is 10,400 circular mill. So you take the resist you take the resistance is equal to um, the specific resistance of the material of the conductor of, of the uh, of the conductor. Um, 10.36 ohms times 1,000 um, over 10 over 10,040. Um, and you get one ohm approximately. Um, if the resistance in the um, specific specific resistance to ohms cir cir circular mill foot are known of the in the length, it can be determined by the simple mathematic transposition. Um, the many there is many valuable applications. For example, locating to the ground of the telephone, you will have specific test equipment. The equipment operates for the principle. The resistance of lime wire varies directly with the length. Thus, the difference between the test point and fault can be computed accurately. Wire side. The most common method of measuring the wire inside of the Navy you the American wire gauge, exemption for the aircraft winding, which are very slightly in size. Flexibility for the American wire gauge standard for information concerning aircraft wire size. Refer to the proper publication for specific specification of aircraft. The only air American wire gauge wire sizes are used in the following discussions. Wires manufacturing size number according to the AWG table the various wiring solid and stranded material that are made with the copper aluminum and so forth are published in the new natural bureau of standards in American welding gauge table for the copper wire shown in table one two the wire diameters become smaller but the gauge number um, becomes larger. Numbers are rounded off at conveniency, but are accurately practi practical application. The largest wire shown is uh, the table is a zero 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 reading, or four knot, and the smallest number is a forty. Um, largest small si size of the manufacturer not, not not commonly used in the Navy. The American welding gauge shows the diameter in mills of the circular mill area, areas and square inches of the American wire gauge sizes. They also show the resistance to ohms per thousand feet and per mile of the wire size specific temperature of the last column of the weight of the wire per thousand feet. An example of use of the table. One two is one two is fouls. So you have your gauge number starting at zero zero, and the larger the more goes up, the larger the, the wire, smaller the wire. They have the diameters of mill, the cross section, circular mill, square mills, ohms per one thousand foot at twenty five degrees Celsius, or sixty five degrees Celsius, or seventy seven degrees Fahrenheit, and one hundred forty nine degrees Fahrenheit, ohms per mile at seventy seven degrees Fahrenheit, and pounds per square one thousand feet. 
problems you may require to run 2,000 feet of the American wage wire gauge, two, um, 20 solid copper wire, new piece for the equipment, the temperature, which wire runs 25 degrees or 75 degrees Fahrenheit. How much resistance will the wire offer the current flow? Solution under the gauge, normal co co column figure, um, fine, fine size American wire gauge 20. Now read the columns until the reach for the arms at per 1,000 feet is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. You will find that the wire will offer 10.4 degrees arms resistant current flow since the way using 2,000 feet of the wire multiplied by 2, you get 20.8 arms. American standard wire gauge is measured by the ranging side of the number of zero to 36 of the gauge is insert of the wire to measure with a small slot with the wheel to just accommodate with the bare wire with the gauge number that is slot indicate the wire size. The front of the part of the slot is parallel size and is their measurement is taken and it should be not begin to be fused with the larger semicircle opening of the rear slot. The rear opening slit simply permits the free movement of the wire when, um, through the slot. All right, standard wire cables. Wire is a um, single slender rod with a filament drawn metal. The def definition um, for restricting them to the term would ordinarily understand solid wire. While the word slender is used to become the length of the wire, it is usually large enough compared to the diameter of the wire measure covered in insulation. Insulated wire, although the term we wire properly refers to the metal, it includes the insulation. A conductor is a wire suitable for carrying electrical current. A stated standard stranded conductor. Is a conductor composed of the group of the wires of any combination of the group of the wires? The wires of the strand and conductor are usually twisted together and not insulated for each other. Um, each other. All right, cable. Um, it's either a standard conductor, single um, conductor cable. The combination of the conductors insulated one another. Multiple conductor cables. The term cable is generally used, usually applied to only to the larger side of the conductors. Small cables is more often um, called a standard wire or cord, such as you put the lamp, iron or lamp cord cables may be um, bare insulate or insulated. Um, insulate, insulated cables may, um, can, may be sheathed, covered with lead, or protective armor. Figure 1-5 shows the different type of the wires and cables used in the Navy. Figure 1-5 shows a wire with a single solid conductor, of the um, single stranded conductor on the single conductor cable. The solid conductor, stranded conductor, um, conductors are stranded main, e, ma, mainly easily to flexible. Um, um, the wire strands and the cables are arranged in the following order. The first layer of the strands are around the center of the condition is the six conductors. Second layer is made up of 12 conductors. The third layer is made up of 18 conductors. So, um, so on. The standard cables are um, composed of seven, 19, 37 strands. So the continuing, um, the fixed increments, the overall flexibility can be increased the further standing and the, uh, Individual strands. Oh, uh, show the typical cross section of a 37 strand cable. It also show the top of total circular mill cross section area stranded cable is determined. And so you have a half inch 37 strand conductor. Um, the diameter of each of the strands is half, um, two thousand of an inch diameter. Each of the strand is two mils. Um, so the circular mill area of each strand is the diameter, um, the diameter is times two or four, centim four centimeters. Total area centimeters are in the conductors um, of four point times thirty seven one hundred forty eight centimeters. Our right, selection of wire size. Simple factors must be considered in selecting size of the wire to be either the transmitting, distributing electron over the power of the electric. On the factors will be discussed throughout the section. Military specifications cover the insulation wire, aircraft ship with electronic, electronic equipment. Specifications described in technical warrants, materials purchased for the manufacturing department of the defense. Important reason to have the, for rehabbing the reason specification easy to uniform size to reduce the danger of the fires caused by the improper selection of the wire size. Wires can carry only a limited amount of current safety. Safely, if the current flowing through the wire exceeds the current carrying the capacity of the wire, the excess heat is generated. The heat may be great enough to burn off the insulated uh, insulation around the wire and start a fire. All right, factors governing current rating. The current rating of the cable of the wire indicate the current capacity of the wire and cable that can safely carry the limit of the current rating. The exceed the length of the time heat generated may be burning insulation. Current rating of the of the wire is used to determine the size that we need for the given load of the current drain. The factors determine the current rating of the wire with the conductor side of the limit, location of the wire and circuit the type of the insulation safe the current, carrying rate, current rating. Any other factor that will be discussed later in this chapter is material of the wire is made of. As you have already seen, the factors also affect the resistance of arms of wire carrying um, current. Conductor size. Increase the diameter of the cross-section wire conductor. Increase the resistance. Increase the capacity of the carry current. Increase the specific resistance of the conductor. Increases the resistance. Increases the capacity of the carrying the current. Wire location. The location of the wire and the circuit depends on the term temperature under the which it operates. The wire must be lo located in the duty lace on the lace with the other wires to make up the connected with the wires operate with the high temperature that will often open to free air with the high temperature under which the wires are operating with the greater will resistance and capacity carrying the current is lowered 
is also to know that each of the carry resistance of the wire determine the current current carrying capacity the greater the resistance more powerful it dissipate the heat in form of the heat energy Conductors may also be insulated with the location of the ambient surrounding temperature that are relatively high when in the case of the heat generated by the external source of the important part of the total conductor as and the fact heat factor will be explained further we'll discuss the temperature coefficient you must understand how external heating influences how much current of the a conductor can carry each of the case has their own specification limitation maximum allowable operating temperature for the insulated conductor specified in tables verifies the type of the conductor insulated by, by being used. Insulation. Insulation of the wire does not affect the resistance of the wire. The resistance does, however, determine much of the heat of the need of the burn. The insulation current flows through the insulated conductor, limit the current of the conductor with the stand that depends on how uh, how the conductor can get before it burns the insulation. Different type of the insulation will burn different temperatures. Therefore, type of insulation, even the third fact, determines the current rating of the conductor. For the insulation, rubber insulation will be deteriorating relatively low temperatures, whereas varnish cloth insulating retains the insul 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 insulation property for the higher temperature of the other type of so insulation of the fluorinated ethanol propylene. Silicone rubber, they're extruded poly, tetro, fluorine, ethanol. They are affected still high temperatures. Safe current rating. The National Fire Underwear Underwriters prepared the table showing the safe current with the raising the size of the type of the conductors carries and the cover of the various types of insulation allowable carrying current with capacity. Single copper, um, copper conductors free of the air. Maximum room temperature 86 degrees Fahrenheit are given in table 1 3 with the aim of the temperature greater than 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. These conductors would have less current capacity. All right, once again, it shows the temperature rating of the current carrying capacity in amperes of some single copper um, conductors at the ambient temperature of the 80, um, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Starting with wire size 0, 0 to the greatest, and then ending up at 14, um, you have the moisture of the rubber resistant thermoplastic, the, the varnished uh, heating resistant thermoplastic, the silicone rubber fluorinated ethanol, pro um, um, propylene, and polyurethane ethanol. Um, Copper versus aluminum conductors. Although silver is the best conductor, copper uh, cost limits um, limits to use the specific circuit. The silver is used where the substance for the high conductivity, the low resistivity is needed. The two most commonly used the conductors are copper and aluminum. Each positive and negative. Each has a positive and negative characteristic that affects the under varying circumstances. Comparison of some of the characteristics: copper, aluminum is shown in figure table one one four. The tensile strength of, of in pounds and inches is 55,000 for copper, and tensile strength of the same conductive is 50,000. While the weighing same conductive pounds is 100, cross sectional same conductive um, uh, centimeters is 100. Special resistic um, total strength of aluminum in pounds and inch square squared inches is 25,000. Total strength of the conductivity is 40,000. Weight of the same conductivity is 48 pounds, and cross sectional same conductivity is um, 160. Our copper has a high conductivity of the as aluminum more ductile can be drawn out with the copper has relatively high tensile strength with the greatest stress over the substance can be bare by the length of the without tearing it apart, but they can also be soldered but however the copper is more expensively heavier than aluminum. Although aluminum has only sixty percent of the conductivity of the copper, it makes it, the lightness makes a lot makes long spans possible. A relatively large diamond for the given the conductivity reduces the corona. The corona is the discharge of the of the electricity from the wire with the high potential of the discharge, but the greater with the smaller diameter um, is used the larger diameter where when larger diameter is used. However, the relatively large size of the aluminum with given the conduction seat does not permit the economical use of the insulating covers. Or your temperature coefficient, the resistance of the pure metals such as silver, copper, and aluminum increase the temperature for the increase out with the resistance of some alloys such as the constantian magnesium change the very little of the temperature change the measuring of the instrument with the evening alloys because of the resistance of the circuit of the mass remain the constant get an accurate measurement. Table 1 runs resistant with a circular mill foot with a wire which is a special resistant given in a specific temperature of 20 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. This specific, um, uh, wait. Sorry, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. If necessary to establish the standard um, temperature for the stated with earlier with the resistance, pure metal will increase with the increase the temperature through the true base of the comparison may be made using the resistance substance of the big care pair to the measure of the same temperature. The amount of increasing resistance one ounce sample of the conductor per degree rise with the temperature above degree zero is degree Celsius called the temperature coefficient resistance of the copper will value approximately uh, um 0 0.0472 ohms. The length of the copper wire resistance of 50 ohms. The initial temperature of 0 degrees Celsius will have an increased resistance of 50 times 0 0.00427 or 200, 0 0.2 240 thousands of an ohm. Apply the entire length of the wire with each of the degree. The rise of it is 0 degrees Celsius at 20 degrees. Increase the resistance by 20 by 0 0.2414 or 4.28 ohms, and the total resistance of 20 degrees Celsius at 50 plus 4.28 ohms is 54.28 ohms. 
All right, conductor insulation. To be useful, safe to the light, electronic um, current must be forced to flow where they needed, but must be not, and it must be channeled from the power source with the useful load. The general current carrying conductors must not be allowed to come in contact with another. The special supporting hardware personnel working near them to accomplish the conductors are coated wrapped them with various materials. The materials, such as the high resistance, are they are also practical purpose. It's non conductor. Non conductors generally referred to as an insulator insulating material. Only, need to do, only the necessary minimum amount of the insulation is applied to any particular conductor designed for the particular job. This is done with the several factors expense in fact, effect very physical electrical conditions which the conductors are to be operated to make taking the, uh, therefore the variety of the insulated conductors available the requirements of the any of the job two fundamental properties the insulating um, material the rubber glass asbestos plastic and are insulating resistance to electrical strength they two entirely different distinct, distinct properties insulating resistance insulating resistance the resistance with the current leak through the insulating material insulation resistance can be measured with a mega without the damage for the insulation information so be observed the useful guide of praising uh, praising the general condition Insulation clean dirt, insulation having the cracks or other faults may show the high value of the insulation resistance would be not suitable for use. Dielectric strength is the ability of the insulator with its damn potential difference. Did you really explain in, in the determine the voltage where the insulation fails to become electrostatic stress, electro, electrostatic stress? Maximum dielectrical strength values can be measured only by raising the val, val, voltage test sample until this insulation breaks down. Types of insulation. The insulation materials discovered in the next paragraph are commonly used with Navy electrical and electronic equipment. More rubber. One of the most type of the insulated with the rubber the, is rubber. Um, the voltage may be applied with the rubber that covers the conductor, depending on the thickness of the quality of the rubber covering other factors being um, quite equally thicker than the insulation. However, there may be a lot applied voltage. Rubber insulation normally used with low, medium range voltage. Show the types of the rubber covered with wire. One of the two conductors is each of the wire strand, each which each strand is covered with the rubber insulation. The other is a single conductor line. In each case, the rubber serves as the same purpose to find the current to the conductor. All right, this shows your rubber insulation, rubber rubber braid, cotton thread conductor, um, stranded conductors, cotton thread, rubber insulation, cotton braid, braid um, thin solid cover, rubber insulation, tin conductor, rubber. Refer to the enlarged cross section on figure one. Something of the note that the, co the, the thin coating of the tin with the um, separated with the copper conductor of the rubber insulation. The thin coating of the tin would not even the chemical action would take place. The rubber would become soft and gummy. Would make the contact with the copper and with small and strong strand um, conductors winding with the cotton threads applied between the conductors and rubber insulation. Code graded rubber. Code graded rubber is the National Electrical Code has adopted the minimum requirement of the rubber insulation specified by the underwriter laboratories and code. The layer R indicate the rubber insulation type of the R signify the wire is rubber coated. The National Electrician's Code of the type RH, type of RHH, signify the rubber heated resistant compound, or RW signifies the rubber moisture resistant compound, type RHW signifies the rubber heated moisture resistant compound, type RHW is approved for the use of the wet and dry location of maximum conductor temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. Neoprone low voltage compounds, one example exemption the type RHW, although they're not rubber compound, neoprone meets the under requirements under laboratories, whether the design the type of the RHW. All right, latex rubber. Latex rubber is a high-grade compound consists of 90% unmilled grainless rubber. There are two designations of the type of the insulation, RHU and RHW. Um, RUH and RUW. Type of the RUH is rubber unmilled heat resistance and measure the dry location conductor temperature does not exceed 75 degrees Celsius. Type RUW, rubber unmilled moisture resistant, is used the wet locations when the conductor does not exceed 60 degrees Celsius. Silicone is the rubber compound that does not carry um, the rubber designation for the application of the example the SA silicone and asbestos SA is insulated around the conductor silicone rubber outer covering must consist of heavy glass asbestos glass or asbestos braided treading treated with a heat flame moisture resistant compound our right, plastics. One of the most commonly used the type of the insulation for the electrical conductors is the good insulating flexibility, moisture resistant qualities. Although the many type of the plastics insulated material, thermal plastic are one of the most common. Well, even the thermal plastic, the cold inductor um, temperature may be um, can be high with some of the other insulating materials without damage insulating quality. Material plates insulation normally used low medium range voltage. The designation used for the most plastic is like those used in rubber insulated with the following letters. Um, letters used on um, the National Electric Code type designation thermoplastics. T for thermoplastic, H for heat resistant, W for moisture resistant, A for asbestos, N for an on, uh, outer nylon jacket, and M for oil resistance. For example, the National Electronic Tradition Code designated that the it would be a thermoplastic, heat resistant, um, moisture resistant, outer line no, ja, no outer nylon jacket would indicate thermoplastic heat moisture, but the resistant and outer line, nylon jacket. Varnish cabric, varnish cambric. 
Insulation could be with the same of the higher temperature of the rubber insulation varnish fabric with the cotton cloth have been covered with the insulation varnish of the show to add the covered um, cable cover for the varnish cable insulation varnish fabric is in the table of form of the wood be around with the conductors and has own oil compound supply with each of the layer to tape the vent water sleeping through the other insulation it also acts as a um, lubricant between the layers of tape so that the slide over each other with the cable is, is bent. Layers of varnish to cambric and lead covering. Varnish um, and cambric insulation figure 1A. Cambric insulation and cambric insulation is used with extremely high voltage conductors and used in substation pro powerhouses. Used with the other locations subject to high temperatures. In addition, used with the other coils and lead um, leads high voltage generator transformers. Leave with the insulation because it is unaffected the oil grease and high has high dielectrical di di strength. Vanish carbric and paper insulation for the cables. There are two types of insulation material. Most likely use the voltage above 15,000 volts. Such as the cable also always leads and cover to keep moisture. Moisture. All right, your extruded polytetrafluorine ethanol. Extruded polytetrafluorine ethanol is a high temperature insul insulation. You think sensitive to the aircraft, the equipment insulation will not burn, will vaporize. Will vaporize subject to the intense heat with the conductor for the high temperature for the nickel will coatium rather than tin or silver to prevent oxidation. Nickel coated wire is more difficult to solder because of the satisfactory connection proper soldering techniques. Warning avoid breathing vapors, extrude, extrude with polyetetrofluorine ethanol insulation when you see the symptom of overexposure, overexposure or dizziness, head against the system disappears upon um, the exposure to fresh air. Fluorinated ethanol pro, 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 proline. Um, FEP is the property of fluorinated ethanol proline um, properties are extruded with the polytetrafluorine ethanol. It will it will melt at sol will melt at soldering temperatures that uh, is rated at 20 to 200 degrees Celsius. It is therefore considered high temperature insulation. There is no non toxic volumes over the fluorinated ethanol propylene or FEP common sense practices. However, it requires you to provide adequate ventilation during any soldering operation. Or right, asbestos insulation will, was used extensively in the path of the high temperature insulation today. It's seldom used in the Navy. The many naval ships and aircraft, however, still contain asbestos insulated wiring aboard ship. The particular trade with the gallery with the laundry equipment. This reason for the continuing the use of the asbestos insulated with the breathing asbestos fibers can produce um, several high, long, less severe lung damage. It can render the disabled to cause of fatal fibrosis of the lungs. The asbestos are a factor of the development of the cancer of the gastrointestinal tract. Safety precautions concerning the asbestos will be covered in more detail at the end of chapter three. Three. Warning, avoid inhalation of the asbestos fibers. Asbestos fibers have been found to cause the severe lung damage of asbestos cancers and gastrointestinal tract. Have all of the Navy safety precautions been working with asbestos products. One type of asbestos covered wires shown in figure 19 and considered for the strain of copper conduct to cover the felt that the asbestos the wires shown covered with the asbestos spray. The type of the wire you in the motion picture projections, arc lamps, spotlights, and heating elements, lead, leads, and so forth. You have the asbestos information the conductor felt that the asbestos sprayed at asbestos. Any other type of the brace, um, asbestos covered you in show figure 110 um, it, it combines the asbestos, the varnish, and cambric. The type of the insulation server that leads to the motor of the transformer sometimes must operate in hot, damp condition. Varnish, cambric, covers the inner layer of the field to asbestos to prevent moisture from the heat reaching the innermost layers of the asbestos. The asbestos loss of the insulating property when it becomes wet and will, be, um, in fact, become the conductor of varnish cambric prevents them from happening because it resists moisture. Although the insulation will stand in some of the moisture, it should be not viewed with the conductor many times permanently immersed in the water under the circumstances. Under those circumstances, the insulation must be protected without the outer lead sheath. Conductor field asbestos varnish cambric braid. National electrician code designated for eight types of asbestos for the designator. The descriptions are each uh, type A is the non impregnated asbestos for the asbestos braid without asbestos braid. Type A, the non impregnated asbestos for the outer asbestos braid or without with an outer asbestos greater glass. AI impregnated asbestos with asbestos braid, AIA impregnated asbestos with the outer asbestos braid and glass, um, AIV, AVA asbestos varnish cambric insulation outer asbestos braid and glass, AVL asbestos varnish cambric insulation outer asbestos braid covered with lead sheath, AVB asbestos varnish cambric insulation with the outer frame retardant coated cotton braid, type SA silicone rubber insulated with the outer heavy asbestos glass or asbestos braid. Or right, paper has little insulation value uh, alone. However, they is impregnated with a high grade of the mineral oil. Serve the satisfactory insulation, extremely high voltage capable of the oil, have the bolt high bolt. Dielectrical strength tends to prevent breakdown of the paper insulation. Paper must be thoroughly saturated with the oil with the in paper with wine or is wrapped in many layers around the conductor and then soaked with oil. Three conductor cables are shown in figure one and eleven that consider the paper and insulation on each of the conductor is spirally wrapped around the non magnetic metal metallic tape over the insulation. The space between the conductors is filled, the suitable space around this um 
onto the cable and then another non-metallic metal tape used the entire cable over this lead lead sheath is applied with the type of the cable is used in voltages of 10,000 volts to 35,000 volts. You have your lead covering, filler, metallic tape, paper insulation conductors, silicone and cotton. In certain types of circuits, for example, the communication circuit with a large number of the conductors need um, perhaps every several, many as several hundred. Figure 1 fit 12 show that the cable containing many conductors each insulated with the other silk and cotton thread because of the insulation of the type of the cotton um, of the cable is not subject to the high voltage. You feel the thin layers and silk cotton is satisfactory. So you have your braid insulation, insulation conductors. Um, this one's silk and cotton conductor uh, insulator. All right, your silk and cotton insulator keep the side of the cable small enough to handle easily. Silk and the cotton threads are wrapped around the individual conductors in reverse direction. The covering is then impregnated with a special wax compound. Enamel the wire, you put the coil meter, the relay, the small tramp, the more motor winding, so forth. The magnetic wire, the wire is insulated with enamel coating. The enamel is synthetic compound, cellulose, axodite, or wood pulp, magnesium, and wood pulp and magnesium. In the manufacture process, the layer wire passes through the solution hot in enamel. Then cool the process repeated with wire across the six and ten coating thickness of the of the thickness of the, for thickness enamel and higher dielectrical strength of the rubber is not. Practical large wires become become the expensive um, because of the expense and because of the insulation is readily fractured and with a large wire at bent. Figure 113 shows that enamel coated wire enamel is the thinnest insulating coating that can be applied to wires. Hence, enamel insulated magnet wire makes smaller coils enable the wire and enable and enable and, and, and enamel wires sometimes cover the one or more layers of cotton and protect the enamel and nicks and cut and abrasions. Bare wire with um, enamel scraped away cutting enamel. Um, Mineral insulated. Mineral insulated cable was never um, de developed in the methane of the non combustibility with a high temperature heat resistant water resistant cable. The mineral insulated cable has, um, or MI cable has one of well, one to seven electrical conductors. These conductors are insulated in a high compressed mineral, normally magnesium oxide sealed, that had liquid type, gas type, metallic tube, normally made of seamless uh, copper. Or conductor prevention, um, protection. Wire cables are generally subject to the abuse of the type of the mound, but the abuse depends upon how the way they are installed and the manner with which they are used. Cables buried directly on the ground must be reached moisture for the chemical action of abrasion. The wires installed within buildings must be protected against mechanical injury overloading. Wires strung across cross arms, both being kept them far enough that the wires do not touch snow, ice, strong winds. This is where the conductors have having tensile strength and substantial frame structures. All right, non-metallic protection. Um, the category non-metallic protective um, coverings, uh, are we on that page? Our general aspects of the overhead transmission wire line, the capability with the sum of the form covering the covering of the time of the insulated rubber plastic, other additional fibrosis. Fibrous braid tape of the maybe you with the cover of the finish and the saturated protective coating. If the wiring cable is insulated, likely resistant receive rough treatment and metallic coat should be added. Materials used to make up the protection wire cable the group is one of the two of the categories non metallic or metallic. Non metallic protection. The category non metallic coverings is divided in three areas. Their areas are one according to the material you with the cover according to the saturant which is covering with the predicate three and according to the external finish of the wiring cable. The three areas reflect the three different methods of the protecting wiring cable. Those methods always I'll allow some of the wire and cables to be classified under the more than one category most of the time. However, the wire cable will be classified based upon the material covering regardless of whether this non-saturant finish is applied. Many types of non-metallic materials are used to protect wires and cables. And fiber braids is made um, far most, far mo is by far the most common while discussed first. Will be discussed first. All right, the fibrous braid, fibrous braid, external, external, extensively protective of the covering of the cable braid is woven over the insulation coat, continuous covering without the joint of the braid is generally saturated with the asphalt paint varnish with the given added protection against the moisture and flame and the weathering oil acid. Additional outside braid is often given the finish and sterling pitch, mica flakes and paint and wax and lacquer varnish depending on the environment will be the cable used. Figure 115, fibrous braid covers the train conductor rubber and braid. Most common type of the fibers and braid is woven in light strand of heavy coating of cotton yard. Cotton yard comes in the different colors which allow the color coating with the individual conductors. Cotton will not withstand all possible environments which capable may believe the older other materials current being the usable make fibers made of the glazed cotton size, twine and hazard. Hosser cord, hemp, paper, cotton, jute, asbestos, silicon, radon, rayon, fibrous glass. The choice of the material will depend on the strength of the need of the cable as well as how the resistance must be in, in, to its environment. 
All right, fibers tape. Fibers tape covering frequently the protect for part of the protecting covering the cable. The material of the tape of the covering is made with the end of the tape before the application of the um, of the cable. The material and the yarns of the braid covering with the woven paper during the application for the cable. The tape of the covering is used to wrap the helical around the cable with it, which are either overlapping with the previous turn. The most common type of the fibers for rubber um, tape of the rubber filled with the cloth tape with the combination of the cloth and cloth and rubber. For example, the duct tape tape of the covering never use the outer covering over the on a cable. Tape coverings are uh, used directly in the insulation individual conductor for the inner covering over the assembled conductor multiple conductor uh, multiple conductor cable. Frequently, tape coverings are used for the sheath or lead or lead sheath cable. The duct tape, which made with the heavy canvas web saturated with the asphalt compound, is often used in the lead lead sheeted table with the protecting against corrosion and mechanical injury. All right, you have your woven coverings, commonly called uh, loom, always an exceptional with abrasion resistant qualities are required. The couples are compared to thick, heavy, and long fiber cotton yards woven around with a cable and circle or loom. Much like the fiber fire hose, they are non braided with a braided, um, although braided covering, and also the loom, but they are designated, designed, designated dif differently. All right, um, rubber synthetic covering, rubber synthetic coverings are non standard. Different manufacturers have their own special compounds as an individual trade name. These compounds are different from rubber. The compounds are insulated cable. The compounds have been perfect, perfect, not the insulating qualities, but the resistant abrasion oil, oil, abrasion moisture, oil, gasoline, acids, earth solution, alkalides. No other coverings will provide protection against these types of exposure. Each covering has its own particular and limitations and quali quali qualifications. All right, jute and asphalt coverings. Jute and asphalt coverings are commonly used with the cushion between the cable insulation metallic armor. The frequently they are used with the corrosive resistant covering the over the lead sheath of metallic armor. Jute and asphalt um, coverings consist of the asphalt impregnated jute yarn, the heli wrapped around the cable, the alternating layers of asphalt impregnated jute yarn. These coverings are water well we weatherproof. Unspun felted cotton. Unspun felted cotton is commonly used with the special classes of the surface that is made um, of solid felted cover uh, covering for the cable. Metallic protection and metallic protection is two type sheet and armor as well. All wires are incapable of the type of the protection needed to be dependent on, on the environment with the wire incapable will use. Metallic sheet cables and wires continually subject with the water must be protected by watertight cover. This watertight cover is either continuous metal jacket or rubber sheath molded around the cable. Figure one sixteen example of lead sheeted um lead sheeted jacket cable to be the power work the cable uh, is on um, three conductor um, type the each of the conductor insulated with a wrap along layer rubberized tape. The conductors are twisted together, rope fillers and an added form the round, round, round core over this wrap second layer of the tape that's serving the final lead sheath mold around the cable figure 116 shows the lead sheath cable insulation filler in the lead covering serving the lead sheet lead sheet of the cable is one of three type three types current being used the alloy lead pure lead and reinforced lead alloy lead sheet is much more is much pure lead sheath but is manufactured in two percent tin this is almost more re resistant for the gouging abrasion during the after installation reinforced lead sheath is usually main mainly for oil filled cables with a highly internal pressure but they can be ex expected reinforced lead sheath and consider the double lead sheath and thin tape of the hard drawn copper browns and elastic material metal Preferably non-magnetic, non wrapped around the inner shelf of the table, give it a considerable addition of strength with the elasticity of the sheath that must be protected with the corrosion for the reason second leading the sheath that is applied over the tape. Metallic armor. Metallic armor provides the tougher and tough protective for the covering of the wires and cable. The type of the thickness and the kind of the metal that you use the armor depending on the three factors. You for the conductors, the environment with the conductors to be used, the amount of the rough treatment is to be expected. Figure 116 shows three examples of metallic armor, cable, wire braid, steel table, and wire armor. So you have wire braid insulation filler, your steel tape, asphalt, impregnated jute, bleed, um, BX cable, and wire armor lead sheath. Wire braided armor, wire braided armor, figure eight, view A, figure 117A, almost know the basket weave armor is when the, when the light and flexible protection is needed. Wire braid is constructed, must add the fibers, the woven braid directly over the cable, over the outer covering metal should be braided as galvanized steel, bronze, copper, aluminum. Wire braid aluminum may be on for shipboard use. All right, steel tape is your view B. Um, the second type of the metallic armor is steel tape. The steel tape covering view B with the figure 117 white wrapped around the cable then covering the serving of the jute. The type of the two types of steel tape armor. First is called the interlocking armor. The interlocking armor is applied with wrapping the tape around the cable to either each turn that ever overlap the next and locked in place. The second type of this flattened band armor. Flattened, bar, um, flattened band armor consists of the two layers of steel tape. The first layer wrapped around the cable did not overlap. The second layer is wrapped around the covering covering the, that was not covered in the first layer. And your wire armor would be um, view C and D. So these are wired armor. 
Wire armor is a layer of the wound metal wrapped around the cable. Wire armor that's usually made of galvanized skill can be used as the over lead sheath. View view C view C with the figure one seventeen can be used with a sheath with a buried cable to wear moisture when concerned without the sheath of the view the view D with the figure one seventeen when used in buildings. All right, coaxial cable, um, figure 118, to define the two concentric wires, cylindrical shape and separated by a dielectrical. Sometimes one wire center conductor, the other outer conductor. These conductors are converted in projective jacket. The projective jacket is covered with the outer protective armor. And the coaxial cables are used in transmission lines are constructed to provide protection against outside signal interference. Chapter 1, Summary.